guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. I got so many requests from you guys to make something Shopkins themed and season four is almost out. So I thought, what should I make? I had this huge giant cupcake tray that we used before. And one of my favorite little Shopkins is from season one. She's a limited edition. She's cupcake queen and I love her. I thought, let's make this a cake. And we're gonna be making a recipe that we've never made before. We are gonna be making an apple cake because look right here, she has a little apple wand. It's so cute. So today we are gonna be making a cupcake queen cake. Let's get started. The things you'll need will be three and three fourths cup of all purpose flour, two cups of dark brown sugar, one and a half cups of melted butter, four eggs, three teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half tablespoons of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of baking soda, one and a half teaspoons of salt, quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. You will also need four large apples. I'm using Granny Smith, a vegetable peeler, some nonstick baking spray, a grater, I'm using a cheese grater, and a jumbo cupcake cake pan. Now let's put it all together. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna combine all of our dry ingredients into a big mixing bowl and then whisk it all together. We're gonna add our flour, brown sugar, baking powder, cinnamon, nutmeg, salty, salty, and baking soda. And then whisk together till it's well combined. In a smaller bowl, we are gonna whisk together our wet ingredients starting with our eggs, the whites, and the yolks. Oh, we're gonna give our eggs a quick whisk before we add our butter and vanilla. Then whisk together one more time. Now we've got our dry ingredients, our wet ingredients, and we are going to combine them. You're gonna pour your wet ingredients into the big bowl with your dry ingredients. And now we're gonna mix it together. It's gonna get very thick. Now we're gonna peel our apples. I got a little vegetable peeler here. And you just peel the outside. Just be careful, don't get your fingers. Now you're just gonna push your peels to the side. We don't want those in the cake. Now this is a cheese grater and you're gonna want the largest grate. So you're gonna take your apple and just grate it like a piece of cheese. <laughs> just be careful when you're getting towards the center of the apple because you don't want any of the core in there or the seeds. This is about what half of an apple looks like. And then we're gonna do this to the rest of our apples. I've got all the apples grated, I put them in this bowl, and now we are gonna add our lemon juice. You're just gonna pour this all over, and it's because apples oxidize after they've been cut. You can see right here, some are already turning brown, so I gotta hurry, keep them fresh looking. And I'm just gonna take my little spatula, and I'm gonna mix it around. All right, now we're gonna add our apples to our cake batter. Then you're gonna take a spatula and fold them in, work them together. Because we're using a pan that has lots of ridges and grooves, you really want to grease your pan, want to be greased grease very well, so we're gonna spray a lot. When you're filling up the cake pan, you can fill it almost full. I would say 80% because this cake batter doesn't rise too much. It's a very thick, dense cake. Now we are ready to bake. You're gonna set your oven to 325 degrees, which is a little bit less than normal. We usually put it at 350, but we are gonna do a slow bake. So we reduce the heat a little bit at 325, and we are gonna bake for an hour and 15 minutes. But just keep your eye on it. Every oven's a little bit different. You can put a little skewer into your cake and if you pull it out and nothing sticks to it, it's done. While our cake's baking, we are gonna begin to prepare our decorations. These are the things that I have to decorate. The first is fondant. I've made some marshmallow fondant. I've dyed it different colors. I've dyed it pink, yellow, blue, a lighter blue, black, and I left some white. Then I have three different size cookie cutters, a small, medium, and large. A little tip for a decoration inside the eyeballs. This is a 199, has jagged edges, will look like a little star. A lollipop stick, which I've cut in half. A fondant mold, we'll be using the little leaf. Some buttercream icing, which I've dyed yellow, blue, and brown. I put them all in plastic baggies to make it a little bit easier to work with. This tip is a 2A, and this on the brown is a number one. Wood. Then for candies, I have mini gumballs, pink and yellow, and Mike and Ike's, pink and yellow. And lastly, this part is totally optional, but I have some luster and pearl dust for some little details. 
The first decoration that we're gonna make are Cupcake Queen's eyeballs. To make these, I'm gonna start with the black fondant. Here, I just put down a piece of wax paper so the fondant doesn't stick to the surface, and I take a little bit of powdered sugar. Now we're gonna roll it out nice and flat. Now we're gonna take the biggest cookie cutter, and I'm gonna cut out two, and the smallest cookie cutter, I'm gonna cut out two of these. Then I'm gonna take the middle size cookie cutter, place it right there, right in the middle, and cut it out so that we're left with a ring like that. So we've got two rings and two smaller circles, and now I'm gonna get six little balls of fondant. Boop, boop, boop. I'm gonna roll them and press them flat for the eyelashes. That's it for the black fondant. Now we're gonna do the light blue. Roll it out. You'll want it to be the same thickness as the black fondant. Take the medium size cutter and cut out two. Then using the edge of your medium cutter, we're gonna make little crescent moon shapes. We're gonna cut them out. So just a little bit of space like that and press down. Now we're gonna take a little bit of pink fondant not all of it, just a little bit. Use the medium sized cookie cutter that we've been using and cut out two circles. Now we're gonna combine our pink and blue fondant to make little eyeballs. Now we're gonna take our black eyeball ring and we're gonna place it over our colorful little eyeball. Look at that. Now we're gonna attach the eyelashes. Ooh, 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 ooh. And the pupils. To do this, I'm just gonna be using a little bit of water. When you're working with fondant, just a little bit of water can work as an adhesive. Her lashes look like this. There's twos on the bottom. One's on the top. Last piece of fondant that we're using to make the eyeballs is a little bit of white, so I just need a little bit right here. Now we're gonna take that 199 tip that I was talking about that's all jagged, and we're gonna cut out two little pieces. Take a little dab of water, place it right on top, and then stick them on there. And then this part is totally optional, but I am gonna be using our pearl dust to add a little bit of highlight onto the eye. You're gonna take a little bacon brush, and I'm just gonna brush a little bit right here, and onto the pink, and onto the blue. I balls complete. Now we're gonna be making some accessories. I love this because working with bonnet reminds me of like arts and crafts. You're like molding cute little clay molds. We're gonna take some of this pink fondant. We've got a lot of it. She's got a lot of pink accessories. Like someone I know. The first accessory that I'm gonna make is her apple wand. All right, I'm gonna roll this out. Here's where I'm taking that lollipop stick that I cut in half, and I'm gonna roll it in the fondant, just like this. I roll it up once. I'm gonna use this little flat tool, or you can use a small knife to cut off the excess fondant. You roll it up like a little burrito. There's the base of our apple wand. Now we're gonna make our little apple. So you're gonna take a little pink fondant, I'm gonna roll it in a little ball. We're gonna take a little bit of blue fondant and pop them into one of the small leaf molds. We're gonna cut off the excess fondant and use the excess to make our little stem. Now we're gonna put it all together. Here we go. We're gonna put our little apple staff into our apple. Now we're gonna attach the little leaf and the stem. So I'm just gonna make some indents at the top, make it look like a little apple. I'm gonna dip it in a little bit of water, give it some extra stickiness. Stick it right at the top. There we go. Then this part is totally optional, but I have the sparkly luster dust and our little baking brush, and I'm just gonna put a little bit all over the apple and on the blue parts. Boom! Apple wand! Now using the pink fondant, I'm gonna make her little shoes and her bow accessory. I'm just gonna eyeball it. The last accessory that we're gonna make is her crown, which happens to be her favorite accessory. You're gonna take a little bit of yellow fondant, gonna roll it out, and now we're gonna cut out a triangle triangle shape to look like her crown. I am just eyeballing it. I'm using a sharp cutting knife, just be careful. And then to make our crown set in a curved shape, I'm using just something I had around the house. This is just a canister, but whatever you have, you can use a glass, a mug. You're just gonna pick up your piece of fondant, place it at the base all the way around. And if you let it sit like this for a little while, it will harden in this shape, and that is what we want. Did you? All of our little decoration pieces are done. We've got eyeballs and accessories. Now time to assemble this cake. Our cake is baked and had plenty of time to cool. You wanna make sure that the cake is cool before you start frosting so that the heat doesn't melt the frosting. Also, I leveled the cake. I made it nice and flat by cutting it with a serrated knife. All right, so now you're gonna take your yellow buttercream frosting. I've got it in a little plastic baggie with a circular tip just to make it a little bit easier. We're just gonna frost the top. Now take your spatula. We're just gonna smooth it out. Now that we've iced the top, we're gonna ice the sides. 
and then use your spatula to smooth it out. The next step is we're gonna put on the top of our cupcake cake. Here we go, this is her hair. Now we're gonna frost all the way around to look like her hair. Now I'm gonna use the spatula to smooth out the frosting to look more like her hair. This part is totally optional, but I wanna be a little fancy. And now this is my favorite part. It's time to decorate. We've got all of our fondant accessories that we made and our candies. And now we're gonna put it all over this little cupcake to make her look like Cupcake Queen. The first decoration that I'm gonna add are her eyes. I'm gonna place these on first because I get a good sense of where everything else goes. And then her little arms, which we're gonna be frosting yellow. Her little shoes, crown, bow, bunch of little mini gumballs, pink and yellow, and a bunch of Mike and Ikes to look like the sprinkles. And then lastly, I'm using a little bit of brown frosting to make her eyebrows, nose, and smile. The Here is the Shopkins Cupcake Queen cake that we made today. She is so cute. A big thank you to you all for suggesting something Shopkins. This is the first time I've ever made something Shopkins. And it is the first time that we've ever made a homemade apple cake before on Nerdy Nummies. So that was pretty cool. I'll be taking lots of pictures of this cute cake and putting them on Tumblr, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you guys make this cake, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your baking creations. I get a big kick out of it. It makes my day. And if you have any other ideas for any of the nutty nubbies, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. All right, thanks again. Bye-bye. <laughs>